Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is about using Quick Correct. I've really never used this before. I've seen it before, really didn't know what I was what it was about, but it's it's going to be pretty useful. And I'm using Corel X6 right now because I've evidently got a a glitch in my 2018, and, and Quick Quick Connect does not currently work. I am going to contact Corel and see what the glitch is, or if that's one of the problems that they're having with it. That's the only glitch I found in 2018. But anyway, this is really cool. If you do a lot of work with a certain phrase or a certain word, and you you got to really pay attention to what keys you use, but I'm going to go ABC and hit Enter, and it wrote out my website or my email address. And feel free to email me if you ever have a Corel question. But there's a lot of ones already built in. So I'm just going to hit the uh, that and the C key and hit enter. And it gave me a copyright. I'm going to hit this and the R key. And it gives me the registration mark. So that's a sh basically it's a shortcut. So there's two ways to get to this. Go up to Tools options workspace down to text and then to quick correct in this right here and you can see the ones that are already listed and i mean it's just for words that uh, maybe that people would normally type wrong so corel's already got some in there but we're just going to make a new one we're going to type in let's say you never use the uh, asterisk sign by itself but if you wanted to type something that you use all the time, like I type out the word epilogue a lot to do different things with. So I'm going to add it, and then I'm going to hit OK. Now we're going to get our text tool, and I'm just going to hit the asterisk key and hit Enter, and it typed the word epilogue. That's pretty cool. Now I said there were two ways to get to it. The other way is just to take your text tool and highlight your highlight your text and then right click your mouse and there's the quick correct right there and if you find that you didn't like what you just did with the epilogue you could just delete it and it will go away you know let's say you picked the wrong key so this is pretty cool i'm going to delete that and say yes and so now when i hit the asterisk key uh, nothing's going to happen but the asterisk. Anyway, play around with that. If there's something you type constantly in Corel Draw, you know, it could be, I think it could be a very long phrase. Or if you constantly use somebody's website or your website in your design. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.